passionate testimony filled the courtroom today during the final day of witness testimony in the Bradley Carraway trial. Today was the defense's turn to prove Shanae Mormon was driving the car when she was killed back in 2016. Carraway is accused of murder, DUI, and leaving the scene of an accident. Wave News reporter Kennedy Hayes is live with more on who the defense called to the stand today. John and Myra, the defense attorney only brought one witness to the stand today, an expert who filed a report saying based on evidence, he believes the prosecution is wrong about who was driving the car when it crashed. Then the vehicle goes off the roadway, strikes first with the right front portion of the car, not the front of the car with the right front portion of the car. Day five of the trial begins with a replica car demonstrating the path the defense believes Bradley Carraway's 2014 Honda sedan traveled on Interstate 64 before it wrecked. Carraway, the man on trial, is accused of driving the car under the influence of alcohol in August 2016. Police say in the car with him, 25-year-old former U of L cheerleader Shanae Mormon died when the car crashed and rolled over. Reconstruction expert Henry Cease reiterated the defense's argument. He believes Mormon was driving, not Carraway. As the vehicle tumbles, it's my belief that Mr. Uh, Carraway is in the right front passenger seat. As the vehicle begins to overturn, the right front window breaks out. Cease showed the jury pictures of the car to explain based on the way it landed. He believes the only way out for both Mormon and Carraway was through the passenger window. Cease believes Carraway was unbuckled and exited the car first, Mormon second. Adding the driver's side seat belt did not sense Mormon when it was in free fall, allowing her to slip out before she was ejected. Cross-examination then responded to the defense's next point. Some key DNA testing and information was left out by investigators. When you looked at it seven years later, you probably would want to note that. Somebody's messing with that car. I didn't say anybody was messing with the car. That's what you're implying. No, sir, I'm not. I'm just saying that the seat position photographically is different than when I looked at it in July. Prosecution also brought up how much well, Cease was paid to take the stand in this I case, bet. which he answered $11,000. You have a lot of confidence in me. If my check bounces, is your testimony going to change? No, sir. All right. All right. Closing arguments and deliberations will begin tomorrow. The prosecution also brought a final witness to the stand, an LMPD detective that's coming up on Wave News at 6. Reporting live, Kennedy Hayes, Wave News. Thank you.